First story. My husband's delusional co-workers cruelly harassed him and claimed they were having an affair with fake proofs to break our marriage so she could get with him. But it backfired. Note. Apparently the co-worker in question made a post herself before OP made her own posts. OP references this in her posts, but I have not been able to find said post. Several people mention remembering reading something that fits the description. I scrolled through the comments of both posts in hopes that someone had found it, but as far as I know, no one has been able to do it. It seems the post was deleted. This post involves creepy behavior. To my husband's female colleague. I do not know your Reddit name, but you finally gave me a reason to use this throwaway. I know you look through this sub after you got advice here telling you to come clean to me about your affair with my husband. I personally couldn't find a thread that fit the description, but it could be the wrong sub or you deleted it. So if you read this and it sounds familiar, then yes, it's about you. I have no plans of speaking to you in the future, but I want to make a few things clear. Yes, I do remember when we first met at the Christmas party and you kept trying to get my husband alone to talk. You pouted so much when he refused that I thought you would quack. Do you remember how all of his colleagues were friendly with me? I remember when you approached my husband and I walking home from my birthday dinner. I'm pretty sure this was a coincidence, but seeing my husband practically jump away from you trying to hug him was the highlight of my night. I know my husband is SXY. Of course I know. I married him and had kids with him. But I bet you didn't know because you have only been at the company for a few months that your co-workers used to be my co-workers. I know all about you trying to get him alone after meetings. Not only straight from my husband because you make him feel uncomfortable, but also from them. Did you think he wouldn't talk to me after you accidentally sent him two provocative photos on two separate occasions? Did you think you could really get him? Did you look at his Instagram and think, wow, I want that life. I just need to lie to his wife. And it's all mine. Do you think knocking on my door when I'm hosting a dinner party to hand me printouts of your conversations with him that I would go off on the deep end and divorce him? I'm pretty sure HR has spoken to you already about your inappropriate behavior and misuse of his personnel file. I'm sure you are shocked. Maybe you didn't think my husband would report it. I don't know what repercussions you will get, and I don't care. If you come near me, my husband, our kids, or our nice home again, police will be called. A word of advice. If you're going to fabricate messages, you might want to get rid of the wrong number, or at least replace it with a name. Update. She has been fired with immediate effect. I will update when we know our next steps. Thank you for the support so far. Edit. There's a more detailed post regarding the update. Notable comments. This is Batch T crazy as hell. What's Hub's take on this? OP. OP's response. He is worried about his professional life. Yes, we have actual evidence she has lied. But it's still a lot to take in. He knows he did nothing wrong. I just hope he doesn't close off from the happy man he is. Do you really believe that your husband wanted nothing to do with it? The classic story of a man caught cheating, and he suddenly turns into the victim of harassment. I'm guessing he told you that she faked the screenshots. OP's response. Please read through my previous comments. The answer has already been provided. But ultimately she was texting her friend, maybe event herself. If what some comments have pointed out, and left the wrong number at the top of the printed out messages. The messages were not how my husband texts, with the spelling being atrocious also. We called the number after we had both calmed down from the situation, and a woman that sounded similar to her picked up. The printout was then given to my husband to hand into HR. My friends in my former department have also confirmed they have them and are investigating the matter. You got to let us know what the printout said. OP's response. I had to hand the printouts in to my husband when he went to HR. I waited till after the investigation concluded to post this. Follow-up comment. But what did they say? What was she trying to accuse him of? OP's response. I can only summarize, as I don't have them, that they loved each other. He would leave me for her. The house was his, so I would need to move out with our kids, the house is mine. She wanted to have his babies, and he wished he met her first. 20 pages of bullsh tea. It doesn't match with your story either. However, I have a question. Don't know if you answered before, but did you laugh at her face when she showed you the dumb prints? How did you react? OP's response. I'm glad no one asked me this until now. I didn't laugh. I'm a calm person, especially when I'm pissed off. I always try to think before I react. So last Monday, it's our turn to host our friends for dinner. I was just about to head into the kitchen to check the food as my husband is pouring drinks. The doorbell goes, and I'm closest. It's her, and she looked like she was about to cry. She hands me the stack of paper 
and says how I should read it and how she loves my husband. She didn't want to hurt a fellow woman, but the heart wants what it wants. She told me it was best if I left. And for five whole minutes, she just kept talking. I stood there silent, listened. She finally stopped talking, and I remained silent, now just staring at the blubbering mess that she was. I just kept staring until she felt awkward enough to turn and walk away. Maybe for a split second, I doubted my husband because the woman was a mess. But when he appeared next to me, thinking he would save me from an overly talkative neighbor, he was confused seeing her car leave. I handled the papers and agreed to go through them together. We skinned it alone first, and by page two, I knew it was bullsh t as in kicking me out of the his hard-earned house, was mentioned inherited, and prenup makes that nearly impossible. So with the tension gone within minutes of her leaving, we carried on with dinner and read through it with our friends. Not my best moment, as I felt bad. My trust faltered for a few seconds because who in their right mind would show up at a house with fake messages? My husband was just as confused. But a few seconds of confusion over 15 years isn't that bad. Sorry for going on. It's just bizarre to me. What is your husband's attitude about all these? OP's response. He is currently sleeping, but he is anxious about how this will affect his job. He is not sure what she may have said during her meeting. Luckily, he has been at the company for 16 years and was the first to report something. Luckily, everyone at the company knows what he is like and either knows me from working with me or knows he is very happily married with kids. We have his co-workers witness some of the behavior in and outside of work, so we are waiting for the verdict of the HR team, who happens to be my old team. I remember the part when she came over and tried to hug your husband. She portrayed it as him getting nervous. I believe both her post and throwaway were deleted as most people poked holes at her story, and she still came up as the villain in her own story. Good for your husband to stand his ground from the beginning. Sounds like a solid marriage to me. OP's response. Ah, I do want to find it. I'm kind of giving up hope of finding the exact post. But maybe she changed too many details, so I can't recognize her. I did ask him earlier why he jumped away. After a few people found it odd, he said that he had started feeling uncomfortable around her just before that interaction and didn't know why she tried to hug him in the first place. They only worked together when their departments had meetings when my husband was addressing presenting to the two teams. And it was after those meetings that she used to try to get him alone to discuss in further detail the points he would make that were already clearly explained in the presentation. So he jumped away because she started acting weird towards him. Wait. She thought that by presenting to have an affair with your husband, you would dump him, and he would go straight into her arms. The woman who would have destroyed his family with fake allegations. I think she has a serious problem there. OP's response. I can only guess that was her goal, but I honestly don't know. I always try to think rationally before I act, so me losing it at my husband was never actually going to happen. I probably would if I caught him in the act of cheating, but that's a completely different situation, and a very high probability of that not happening. Did she outright say she got a hold of his personnel file? Because she could have gotten the address through other means. Following your husband home and snooping through his desk are the first things that come to mind. OP's response. Sorry. I'll try to explain the personnel file part more, as it's still the same since I left the company. Everyone in the company has interlinked systems with their own user profiles. Based on the department you work in, you should have access to various systems. HR has a digital personnel system. Now every time you go into any file, there is a digital signature on a logging system. So if in the HR demo, you went into a file twice in a few days, a colleague in HR could see that while running the reports. There have been logs of her going into his personnel file. I don't know how many times, but she shouldn't have access to that system, as she is in the events department. So either someone gave her HR access, which also means she can edit the files however she wants, sort of like Wikipedia, or it was a system glitch that wasn't picked up. It's part of what's being looked into. Kudos to you for not falling for her garbage. I've seen one strong marriage fail due to a near-identical situation. Fabricated texts and emails of things that never happened. She didn't believe her husband. Then divorced despite everybody telling her this was all garbage. After couch surfing for ages, she's now in a shelter that helps people get back on their feet. He has full custody of the kids. No winners. OP's response. That's so sad. Follow-up comment. He's a broken man. It's the kids that keep him going now one only a toddler. I know he would have taken her back up to the point she filed for a fault divorce. He was doing 60-70 hours a week of work and had an odd job doing something that's such an oddly specific skill. I'd describe him immediately if I described it. 
and it was all to keep her in the lifestyle she wanted. It's only a shame he hadn't married you. I gave a speech at the wedding. I'm still pissed about it. Update. First, I want to say thank you to everyone who supported my husband and me in my first post. This might go on for a little bit, so I'm sorry in advance. I probably won't be as articulate as I was in my first post. I never found her post, by the way. If all you want is the update, skip to the bottom line. A few people implied that there was no smoke without fire. Usually I would agree and have been on the other side, making these comments myself on my actual account. But my husband is also on Reddit and saw the comments, and he wanted me to add some prior events. My husband is high up within the company marketing department that works closely with the event team in their field. When they work together on a project big or small, they have to have meetings. The bigger the project, the more meetings needed. My husband worked very closely with the colleague that went on maternity leave. The woman was highly recommended by a senior employee in the events team. So after she had training on the systems and was brought up to speed by her department head and my husband for a big project, he was friendly towards her. He remained professional at all times, and the meetings they had were also never alone. The project was a success and then another big project landed in their laps. At this time, the woman started acting strange just before the Christmas period, asking for clarification after meetings when the points had been discussed thoroughly. When my husband rebuffed this and directed her to her own manager, it escalated to offering to discuss work matters over coffee, lunch, or dinner countless times a week, telling him that he looked good that day. This was done using her work email. She met me at the Christmas party and sulked when she couldn't get him alone and a few days later sent my husband the first picture via social media. He didn't actually see the first picture until after she apologized in person. He accepted her apology before checking his messages when he was back at home with me. She had put an oops, sorry, wrong person message straight after it. So when he clicked that message, the first picture was there, which she could have deleted before he actually saw the message. A week later, a similar thing happens with a second picture on a different social media platform. He saw who the message was from and asked me to open it. It was a little more provocative than before. But when she apologizes, she asks him if he told me about the pictures, as she didn't want me to get the wrong idea, as they were both obviously a drunken mistake. She was not a friend on any of his social media, so I don't know how she thought that was an excuse. My birthday comes along, and when she went to hug my husband, he jumped away as her actions were getting him worried. But after that, her actions calmed down a little bit. She sort of stopped asking him out to discuss work so much. But then last Monday happened. Update. She was fired for sexual harassment and gross misconduct. And this has led to someone else being suspended pending investigation. As my husband and I were both working from home due to the events that happened last week, I was unaware at the time of my post that she had been suspended pretty much straight after my husband reported this to HR on Wednesday. He handed over the text exchange and the messages on his social media with proof he never responded, and he printed out the work emails he had received as well. The reason for the rapid response was due to the nature of the allegations, but I can confirm she was fired yesterday. I have not been told what she said, but she did not try to raise any allegation against my husband. In my comments, I explained a little about the HR department system. The company uses an electronic personnel database, which only HR employees can log into. No other employees should have access to this system. Yet an employee in the IT department gave the woman unauthorized access to the HR system. A report was run, and she had been in my husband's file 34 times. I don't know what she actually did in there, but apparently there were so many amendments that they had to restore his file from a recent backup. So the IT employee has been suspended pending an investigation. But I don't know much else about that as it's not my job to know. I'm only recounting what I have been told by my husband and former colleagues. The past 48 hours have been crazy. But I am glad that this post reached other platforms as a relative of hers found the post and reached out to us to apologize for the woman's actions. After a few messages were exchanged, we had a very long telephone conversation. I will not go into specifics due to their privacy. However, I can say the following things with permission. The woman has been fixated on other men before, resulting in her having an order of protection against her and her needing treatment. The family believes this is due to a traumatic event she witnessed when she was a child. She is normally very stable when she has medication. The only problem with that is that when she is stable, she believes she is completely healthy and stops taking the medication, causing a relapse. The person that she had the text exchange with was her teenage niece, who was not aware of her aunt's condition. The niece was under the impression it was a joke, 
then became scared when we called Wednesday morning. So she hung up. She reported this to her family, and they found out later that day the woman had been suspended. The family found the post and my comment referencing the text exchange and got my husband's name from the woman after confirming the post was her. The woman is currently staying with other relatives about four hours away from where we are. We will be contacted if she goes missing from their care, especially while the medication is working its way back into her system. We will not be pressing charges at present, but we have logged this with the police, especially after talking about it with our friend, and her family is aware of this. Our security is being updated within the next two weeks, and the school and daycare are also aware of the people who can and can't drop off pick up my kids with photos of them. They have also been provided a photo of her, and to contact my husband and or I if they see her near the schools or attempt to pick my children up. Hopefully I won't need to provide a further update to this, and I'm going to have a bottle of wine, and hopefully my husband and I will have a very good night's sleep. Edit. The niece found the post and recognized some of the text exchange I referenced in my comments, possibly the part about kicking me out of my house with my kids, as that was the only part I was not too vague about. But I don't actually know what else has gone on in their family behind the scenes as I didn't speak directly to her. Notable comments. Yikes, what a saga. Glad the situation has been figured out and dealt with so you can begin to exhale. Let's all hope the former colleague continues to get the help she desperately needs. Hard to imagine how traumatized her brain must be. OP's response. Yeah, I feel a little guilty for posting now. But it ultimately did get her the help and support she needs. This is so scary. Glad she was fired. What do you mean by amendments? I'm assuming she was editing stuff on your husband's file. OP's response. She had changed a lot of information on his file. I'm not allowed to know the exact extent, but she had access to everything HR would. They managed to confirm that she didn't access anyone else's file also, and the amendments were reverted back when the backup was restored. Yikes, that's terrifying. I'm glad there's been a swift resolution to this situation. She sounds absolutely unhinged, and I'm glad to read you guys are staying vigilant in case she tries to escalate her obsession. It's also insane that someone in it gave her unfettered access to your husband's personnel files. WTH? OP's response. Not just my husband's. Access to the entire company's personnel files. Did you ever find her old post? Was that just a lie? Was she feeding her husband baked good? I got so many questions, and none are answered. OP's response. I never found the post. But with people making so many suggestions, I admit I was overwhelmed with crazy posts. I looked through them, and none of them matched. But I honestly don't know what I'm looking for, because she either fully believes she was having an affair with my husband and posted about that, or she admitted she lied to get me out the way. I also think it's possibly something she has posted, but changed too many details to remain anonymous, so I couldn't recognize it. I didn't ask her family for her Reddit post history when we spoke. She never baked anything for my husband. She wasn't in a relationship either. I hope that answers a few. Let me know if you have anything else I can clarify for you. Second story. My wife won't have SX with me and refuses to let me find it elsewhere, demanding that I stay in an SX-free marriage like hers for the rest of my life because she decided it's best. Now, she is having a meltdown. I divorced her. A few months ago, I posted for relationship advice on another sub. Basically, my wife has decided unilaterally that we are done having SX. She found out that she cannot have kids due to a choice she made before we met. And kids, apparently, are the only reason she was willing to have his ex. I love my wife, and I enjoy being intimate with her. But it was making our marriage untenable after two years of this. So I posted for advice. I got a lot of great support and suggestions about how to talk to my wife. I tried a lot of it. I started going for counseling for myself as well. But no matter how I approached her about our situation, she would not try and see it from my point of view. Every discussion would end with her crying and screaming in my face that I was trying to emotionally manipulate her. I then wrote her a letter outlining my feelings and asking her to come with me for counseling, to seek it for herself, perhaps to go see a doctor. I was kind and loving in the letter. The last thing I wanted to do was set her off. I worked on the wording with my counselor to make sure I wasn't saying anything aggressive that could be misinterpreted. She read the letter. Then she scrawled across it with her red sharpie. Go get it elsewhere because you are not getting it from me. Then she walked out. I sat there for about an hour doing nothing. Then I told myself that was what I was going to do. We are both fairly successful in our jobs. I'm not super attractive, but I'm fit and a good talker. 
It took a while, but I met someone. We started out as just friends, but it became physical. I made sure she knew I was married. She is not interested in a relationship, so I guess I am a safe option for her. My wife found out because I did not try to hide it. She was crying when I got home one night. When I came in, she asked if I was going to leave her. I said no. She asked if I was cheating on her, and I said I was getting SX elsewhere. She said that was cheating, and I did not disagree. I asked her what she wanted to do. She said I had to stop. I asked her if we were going to start having SX. She said I was an irrational arsy hole if I thought that she would have SX with me after I cheated. I went to my desk and pulled out a photocopy of the letter I wrote with her answer in it. I went to have a shower and went to my room to sleep. When I woke up, she was sitting on the couch waiting to talk. She said that she reread the letter and that she realized she had not before. She assumed it was just a letter begging for sex. She said she would go for counseling alone and with me. All I had to do was stop having SX elsewhere. I said I would be willing to pause my friendship until we saw a counselor, and that if I saw progress in our relationship, I would break it off. She said she would not agree to counseling without me leaving the other woman. It almost turned into a fight, so I just went for my run. Before I left, I asked her what would compel her to go to counseling if I stopped having SX elsewhere. When I got back, she still did not have an answer. She couldn't even say that our relationship was worth saving. I don't want a divorce. But I am willing to leave over this. I am 28. I am not going to live the rest of my life without sex. She refuses to see my side. OP's response is in the comments. J underscore little underscore base. The fact that you made a photocopy of the letter tells me you already know this train is headed for divorce town. OP, I am prepared for that eventuality. Magdovis. Has she ever explained why she doesn't want sex? Is she part of some fundamentalist religion or something? Or does it hurt? OP. She really wants children. Can't have them. No point to SX in her eyes. Harp. Question. Why is she so SX adverse? Have you talked about this, and why she can't enjoy a normal sexual relationship with her husband? I wouldn't say you cheated in this scenario because her choice of words led to this, as did her refusal to read your letter or take your emotions into consideration. I wouldn't be caught dead with a woman like your wife. OP. We had a great sexual life until we started trying for children. Then she found out she cannot. Now she doesn't see the point of Zax. Disposgians 614. Please get a divorce. She needs therapy. And you need to understand cheating on her is not excusable either. Two people are just hurting each other, intentionally. That's so damn sad. OP. She literally told me to get it elsewhere. Literally, not figuratively. Like in her own words written down. Intrepid Lettuce 694. A photocopy of the letter. OP. I thought I might need the original in case of divorce. I love her. But I'm not stupid. Similar underscore corner 8081. You just want to argue semantics. Do what you want. You're looking for validation, not advice. You can't claim to love or respect your wife and then cheat on her. OP. Okay. I will be more clear. Prior to her diagnosis, we would occasionally invite other women into our relationship. The reason that, forsaking all others, was not included was intentional because we did not want to break our vows. Junk drawer magic. Info. Do you blame her for being infertile? When she found out she couldn't have children, what was her reaction other than no longer wanting Zax? How did you emotionally support her? Do you think she feels at fault for her infertility? Has there been an attempt at therapy or medication? Following finding out she was infertile. OP. I do not blame her for being sterile. Her choices led to that. But it is just a horrible outcome. I wouldn't wish on anyone. Anger. She was really angry when she found out. Mostly at herself. Some at her old partners. Mostly herself. I was there for her. When she was angry, and there was nothing I could do for her, I sought out counseling for myself, so I could learn how to be there for her no matter what. She feels she deserves to be infertile to make up for her prior choices. I told her that no one deserves what happened to her body. I believe I may have mentioned that she will not seek counseling. Unintelligent underscore lemon. My brother and his ex-wife divorced for a lot of reasons, but one of which was that his ex came out as as Kshuel. He was lucky to have as ex a few times a year, more when they were trying to get pregnant. He's now got an awesome girlfriend he's crazy about, and she's crazy about him. She told me how wonderful it is to feel desired. OP. My wife is not as Kshuel. She is bi. 
Pauls underscore voice underscore Z64. Info. I want to know exactly what your reaction was when you found out that she can't get pregnant and why. What did you say to her? What were your exact words? Willing to bet that'll have the answer for why she cut off his ex. OP. I held her while she cried. We went home and cried together. Then we both took a week of PTO. We stayed home, and I cooked for her while she lay in bed. I told her that we would be okay, and that we had lots of different ways of starting a family. I told her that I was okay with just her for the rest of my life, if that is what she wanted to. I did say that I was sad that we would not be having a biological child, but that it was not the end all and be all of my life. Paul's underscore voice underscore Z64. At what point did you start referring to what she did in her past as stupid decisions? Do you call it that around her? Have you ever said that to her face? OP. It is how she refers to her past. She says that she made a lot of stupid decisions when she was young. I knew about her past when we started dating, and I accepted it as part of who she is. We did not know until two years ago that her prior decisions had some fantastically shtty consequences for us. I have never referred to her decisions as stupid when talking to her. Rando 12365478 Yes, you are the arsehole. Jesus. Saving a photocopy of the letter, just to throw it back in her face, is terrible. OP, I saved it because I have been considering divorce. You cannot understand the life I have had for the last two years. I was depressed and thought about ending myself. I hate that there is nothing I can do for her, and she won't look elsewhere for help. Update. I told my wife that I broke off my relationship with the woman I was having sx with. I did this because she said she would not agree to go to counseling unless I did so. She refused to go for counseling after I told her I broke off my relationship with my friend. She said I was her husband and that I didn't have the right to her body or to get sx elsewhere. Since I lied as a test, I think you can guess I knew she was lying. We are getting divorced. She deserves to be happy with someone who is okay with no sx in the marriage, and I deserve a life. I have moved out and am moving forward with my life. Thanks for all your advice. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.